job and all by himself, too. <laughs> Way to have that thing. Uh, he had some, uh, somebody playing guitar with him uh, sometimes, but no fiddle on that one, I don't reckon. What do you say we, uh, I'm going to tear, this, tear the weather up, I guess. I'm looking for something to tear. Uh, what do you say we tear and compare on the air with the flare? Here's Roy Cuff. That's what his mule sounds like. A bill is a bull, etymologically, a script, a seal, a document, B-I-double-L-B-U-double-L, -L -L. the pair of L's, the parallel, lights of life, the sun and the moon, yang and yin, sunrise, sunset, he Horus set, odd even, dawn evening, God, Devil, Adam and Eve, Good, Evil, Mars, Venus, God, Devil, On, Off, Sun and Moon, Day and Night, Deity, Sunrise, Sunset. Every day, summer, winter, the macro form on the year of the micro of the day, a night. Equal night coming up, equinox, on the 20th, and a full moon. Today is the 16th, 316. John 316, anybody? Bueller? A, a, the money is called Jack, same as a flag. Jack from Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. Jesus, the 12 apostles of El. Apostles, positions of the sun on the ecliptic path of the year. 12. 12 pairs of cranial nerves in the temples. A pair of L's. Parallel. Hare Krishna, part 28 now. We're in chapter 16. What was the last line I read? And so, the last one was their respective results. So, chapter 16, verse 6 the nature of the demoniac. The de money, money act. Bashful brother Osborne Lalda. Smoky Mountain Boys. Smoky Mountain Boys. Woe Mule. And that's enough Woe Mule, right? I can play another one. Woe Mule. No, I, all right. I'm not going to do that right now, though. I've got to go dig around for it. The Straw of Ra. S T R A W S T R A S T A R. Stellar Ra. That's the kind of music the kids like. The mid L light line of the horizontal and vertical cross. Uh, last Saturday, when uh... there are two types of beings created in the world, the nature. This is again the nature of the demoniac, chapter sixteen of the Bhagavad Gita of Hari Krishna. The nature of the godlike and the demoniac mind. There are two types of beings created in the world: the divine and the demoniac. The divine have been described at length. Hear from me, O Partha Arjuna, about the demoniac. The demoniac do not know about the way of action or the way of renunciation. Neither purity nor good conduct nor truth is found in them. They say that the world is unreal, without a basis, without a lord, not brought about in regular causal sequence, caused by desire in short. Holding fast to this view, these lost souls of feeble understanding, of cruel deeds, rise up as the enemies of the world for its destruction. Giving themselves up to insatiable desire, full of hypocrisy, expressing pride and arrogance, holding wrong views through delusion, they act with impure resolves. Obsessed with innumerable cares, which would end only with their death, looking upon the gratification of desires as their highest aim, assured that this is all. Bound by hundreds of ties of desire, given over to lust and anger, they strive to amass hordes of wealth by unjust means. 
for the gratification of their desires. This today has been gained by me. This desire I shall attain. This is mine and this wealth also shall be mine in the future. This is in quotes now from representing the demoniac thinking. This foe is slain by me and others also I shall slay. I am the Lord. I, I am the enjoyer. So wait, this is a Krishna saying this. This foe is slain by me and others I shall slay. I am the Lord. I am the enjoyer. I am successful, mighty, and happy. Or is this what the demoniac saying? I'm not sure here. I am rich and well-born. Who is there like unto me? I shall sacrifice, I shall give, I shall rejoice. Okay, that is what the demoniac are saying. Thus they say, deluded by ignorance. Bewildered by many thoughts. This is verse 16, chapter 16. The Bhagavad Gita. Bewildered by many thoughts, entangled in the meshes of delusion, and addicted to the gratification of desires, they fall into a foul hell. Self-conceited, obstinate, filled with pride and arrogance of wealth, they perform sacrifices which are so only in name, with ostentation, and without regard to rules. Given over to self-conceit, force, and pride, and also to lust and anger, these malicious people desire me dwelling in the bodies of themselves and others. The demoniac desire, Krishna. These cruel haters, worst of men, I hurl constantly these evildoers only into the wombs of demons in this cycle of births and deaths. Fallen into the wombs of demons, these deluded beings from birth to birth do not attain to me, O son of Kunti, or Arjuna, but go down to the lowest state. The triple gate of hell, verse 21, chapter 16. The gateway of this hell leading to the ruin of the soul is there is threefold. The gateway of this hell leading to the ruin of the soul is threefold. The triple gate of hell. Lust, anger, and greed. Therefore, these three one should, one should abandon. The man who is released from these, the three gates to darkness, O son of Kunti, does what is good for his soul and then reaches the highest state. But he who discards the scriptural law and acts as his desires prompt him, he does not attain either perfection of happiness or the highest goal. Therefore, let the scripture be thy authority for determining what should be done and what should not be done. Knowing what is declared by the rules of the scripture, thou shouldest do thy work in this world. This is the 16th chapter entitled The Yoga and the Distinction Between the Divine and the Demoniac Endowments. Chapter 17 next entitled The Three Modes Applied to Religious Phenomena. The Three Kinds of Faith. Hare Krishna.